everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video, I have been really excited about filming this one and I'm finally bringing you a neutral styling video. So in today's video, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe give you guys some inspiration and some ideas of how you can bring neutrals into autumn and kind of winter I guess because I have got a couple of coats in this video as well to show you but I think having an interchangeable neutral colour palette sometimes works really really nicely and it makes your wardrobe more versatile and hopefully this video will show you some ideas of how you can pull those items you already have in your wardrobe together to make some really lovely neutral autumn outfits I am going to be touching on some of the trend pieces in these outfits as well and also just things that you probably already have in your wardrobe. So hopefully you guys are excited for today's video. If you are then I would love it of course if you gave it a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first outfit I want to show you is actually the outfit I'm wearing right now. And I would say the premise of these outfits are going to be browns, neutral tones, camel colours, creams, whites. I am going to throw in the occasional black piece as well. Hopefully these looks are very wearable and I would say they're more of a, of a casual look, more of an everyday look. So the first outfit starts with this gorgeous top, which is from Zara. It's actually a bit of an oversized short sleeve blazer. I know that sounds a bit strange, um, but it's in this really nice deep brown colour. I've actually oversized in this blazer. I've gone up to a size medium. I'd normally wear a size small in clothing. Full frame of reference as well. I know it's helpful for some of you guys. I'm five foot six and I typically wear a UK size eight or a size small depending on the retailer. Um, so I do tend to oversize in my blazers and jackets. I think it just looks a little bit more sophisticated and a bit more expensive if you do size up in those items because there's nothing worse than something looking tight or looking a bit too snug, not really fitting properly and that kind of tends to cheapen a look so I would always recommend sizing up. So this one is just done up with a really simple belt detail. Um, in all of these outfits I'm just going to be wearing my standard watch, this is my Nord Green gold watch and then I've also got on a pair of white jeans. These jeans are from New Look. Now I have always struggled actually to style and wear white jeans other than in the summer and this year I'm excited because I am wearing them a little bit more into the autumn and I'm kind of enjoying it. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of how to wear your white jeans as well. So these are just very simple mum jeans and then I finished the look with a pair of boots. You will be able to see better in the cutaways. Um, I've got a cream pair of boots there from Natty Girl on ASOS. Absolutely gorgeous pair of boots. So I think I would choose this bag, which is from Mango. It's just a mango chain baguette bag. It's really beautiful. It's this cream material. It's faux leather, and it's just got this gold strap. So I think this look just looks really chic and effortless. I would probably also wear this with a pair of Ray-Bans. I love Ray-Ban aviators. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that because I wear them in a lot of my pictures but I just think sunglasses just ties the look together. Um, so yeah, this is the first look. Before I move on to another completely different look, I just want to show you the versatility of white jeans. So I've just removed the brown blazer and I've put on this gorgeous roll neck knit jumper, which is from ASOS. And it is this almost like a champagne-y parchment color, which is lovely. It's a really chunky, bold knit. And I've also just changed the bag to this quilted mango bag, which is a kind of grayish color. So I think this look works really, really nicely. And I think chucking on white jeans can sometimes be a bit daunting, but actually there are so many really gorgeous neutral looking outfits that you can pair with a pair of white jeans and the white jeans just make the look really. Again, I've kept on these boots, which are from Nasty Girl. Um, but I just think this look is so, so effortless and timeless. And then what I would also do is chuck on a coat. So for example, I've got this coat as a piece of layering, which is from H&M. I actually got it last year, but I still haven't worn it properly out. It's just been sat in my wardrobe. Um, but for a really simple, easy piece of layering, you can chuck on this gorgeous long line coat. Again, it just adds a little bit more of 
I suppose warm and an autumnal feel. This coat is quite a structured coat. So it is again a neutral color, but tying in all of these neutral tones with a pair of white jeans works really, really nicely. <laughs> So for this next look, I've gone a little bit more classic, I would say, and I started off with a white shirt. So this is an oversized white shirt, which is from Zara. I really love the look of a crisp white shirt paired with a lighter blazer. So again, this blazer is from Mango and I have sized up, so I've gone for a size medium in this one. The shirt is true to size, it's a size small, and I really like the look of a shirt when you can see the cuffs. So if you pull the cuffs forward and show the cuffs alongside the blazer, I think this adds a real kind of extra detail to your look and really finishes it off. So I paired this look with a pair of leather leggings. These are coated leggings from Mango and they are my favourite leather leggings of the season. And then I have finished the look with a pair of chunky boots, which are from H&M last year, but they have so many similar ones this year. And then I've also finished it off with my Prada bag. I don't think I've talked about my Prada bag yet on YouTube. I've spoken about it on my Instagram. This was actually secondhand. So I bought this off the secondhand, I suppose, designer app called Vestier. And I got this for a ridiculously good price. I saved hundreds of pounds. So if you guys have a bit of a thing for designer things, but Obviously the price tag is just a little bit obscene sometimes. Definitely check out Bessier. This isn't an ad or sponsored or anything. I just want you guys to know that you can afford to get designer stuff on a bit more of an affordable budget. Um, so yes, yeah, so I love adding my Prada bag where I can. So this is the outfit. The blaze is just really, really neutral. Again, you can switch it out for different color blazers. You can switch it out for different color trench coats. This look would look really amazing with those. And even if you wanted to, you could chuck over a jumper over the shirt and let the collar kind of fall out and the cuffs fall out as well. And that would again look like a really classic look. So switching out the blazer, you can also change up this look by adding a trench coat. Now this trench coat is a gorgeous checked brown coat which is from ASOS and I just love the style of a trench coat. I think they are so, so wearable. They're really effortless, really, really chic and they're just the easiest things to add to your wardrobe if you want to put something on that will instantly elevate your outfit and make it look really timeless and really, really wearable. So yeah, absolutely love this. This next look is probably one of my favourites, I think, and the concept of this look is something that I am wearing a lot this autumn and will be in the winter as well, and it is a midi skirt combined with a cardigan and some leather boots. So this cardigan is from ASOS, it's absolutely beautiful. It's almost like a tobacco -y color. And I just tucked the cardigan in to this midi skirt, which is also from ASOS, and it is pleated and spotted. And it's flowy, and I know this is a neutral styling video, but I do love adding in a pattern and a print to my wardrobe. So the black and white I think looks really, really nicely with this look. And then I've just finished it with a pair of brown leather boots, which are from Mango. And then I've also got this brown croc print effect bag, which is also from ASOS, I believe. See, I just think this is a real classic girly look. And if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen a lot of my mini skirt looks this season, and I just can't get enough of them. I think they're so effortless timeless and really really wearable and yeah i just love them <laughs> then going into i suppose from the autumn to the winter you can definitely warm up this outfit by chucking on a coat so again i've just chucked on this i keep saying chuck i put on this h&m coat which is really thick and warm and it just works really well with these brown and darker colors and um, i think adding a pop of light if it's along the same kind of tones, it works really, really nicely. So yeah, you can definitely move this look into the winter and warm it up a little bit and maybe even chuck around a scarf as well. I think that would look really gorgeous. So for this next look, again, I am using the same items. So I hope you guys are noticing that every single outfit that I've picked 
is all from the same rail of clothing. So these items are really, really interchangeable and really wearable with each other, which is amazing. Um, I've kept on this cardigan from ASOS and I've teamed it with, again, this blazer, which is originally from Mango, and I got it a little while ago. And then I've also teamed it with a pair of lighter oatmeal colored wide leg trousers, which are from Topshop. I actually got these on berry.co.uk. And then again, I brought in the quilted bag, which is from Mango, but I dressed it down with a pair of white chunky trainers just to give it a bit more of a casual, informal vibe. I'd probably pop on a pair of shades again with this look just to make it a little bit more edgy and a little bit more cool, I suppose. Um, but yeah, love this. Again, a really easy, effortless, classic look and something that's really wearable and also warm at this time of year. So the final look that I wanted to share with you is this look and it is this gorgeous wrap around knit cardigan which is from H&M. Again, any neutral coloured knit cardigan would work with this outfit and then I teamed it with, again, my mango coated leather leggings. I teamed it with a white pair of, or cream pair of boots and um, you can also team it with black chunky boots as well, that would work really, really nicely. And I have just finished it off with a bit more black, bringing the black up to the top of the outfit with this croc effect bag. And then again, I've just left kind of everything else quite neutral. No more fuss, no more going on. Um, and yeah, this is just a really easy, I suppose, neutral wearable look. And it's also really, really comfy as well. So yeah, I really, really love this. And then if you did need that extra layer of warmth, then you can chuck over your favorite trench coat. Now, I'm adding a bit more of a yellowy tone to this look with this trench coat, which is from Pimkey on ASOS. And it's just gorgeous, really. I really like the fit and I really like the color as well. Um, and yeah, it just works really, really nicely with the rest of the outfit, I think. So I've really, really enjoyed filming today's video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas and inspiration of how you can tie in some neutral looks for fall or autumn. And if you would like me to do another one of these videos, I'm sure I could pull together lots more neutral outfits for you if you did enjoy it. So please do give it a big thumbs up. Also, I'd love to know which one was your favourite look or favourite piece from this video, so let me know in the comments down below. And if you are new to my channel, of course, I would love for you to stick around for the long term, so feel free to head on over and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you for the very next video. Bye!